Oh, it always feels nice to be afloat again. go below and check things out here make sure she's not leaking anywhere let's check forward build here looks dry ah so she's dry, everything's good, the fridge works. Uh, it's always just a sigh to finally get back afloat again after doing all that work. Ah, uh, feels good. So I got my M track all hooked up and I kept getting an antenna error. So I just installed a new antenna. There it is, nice and shiny. But these antennas come with the and I here's here's the cable right here. I snaked the cable through. But it comes with just the standard uh, fittings and the end fittings, the plugs that you have to solder. And I found those are just almost impossible. So I bought one of these deals. Uh, and what, what happens is, is these gold prongs, you clamp them with pliers and they puncture the outer, uh, the outer conductor, the coax, and then the inner conductor meets up on the inside. And, uh, so hopefully, uh, we can have this on in about five minutes and, uh, then we can test out the antenna. Slide cover ring, O-ring and larger coupling ring into the connector penetrates. Oh, I see that nylon is to guide it. Okay, I think that's about as far as it goes. So that should connect the center. Oh. Careful and evenly, so this is going to pierce the outer. Okay, I think that went into the shield. I don't ring up. Tighten cover ring. Tighten the cover ring. And that should be. Okay. And just try it with the radio here. Oh, that's uh, okay. <laughs> Wrong one. Just kidding. So two, and then if I hook up the antenna. Thursday. Yep. Uh oh. Okay, now hook the antenna up to the M track. So this is the new antenna, new cables. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so here's the Pro AIS-2 Connect. And let's look at diagnostics. Okay. So transceiver. Well, we got the M right MMSI number in. All right. Let's power. So I just flipped the power on. Okay, AS, perceive, power supply, okay. 
it's time out okay. Okay, it's got a position fix. Still, the antenna is saying nothing. Trans Yay! Antenna, okay, we're all good. We're transmitting. Yes! All right, let's get into this. From Willis Sales. Uh, should be a new code zero inside here. So let's check it out. Ah, look at that. Oh, wow. There's the torsion cable, I see. Ah, how convenient. Yeah, look at this cloth, though. Looks like I'm a Ruth Avery's a club racer here. See if we can roll this thing out. So so far so good. The size looks about right, and it rolled up nicely on the torsion cable. So now I have to see if I can get it all in the bag cleanly. Yeah. Seems to stow nicely. So all fine and good for a protected anchorage with no wind. Obviously the next step is to get out sailing. Well, with the boat in the water, all freshly painted, and complete with all the new toys, the next step is to do a provisioning run in preparation for my down east cruise up the main coast. Yeah, this Prius has been doing pretty well. Almost 55 miles, 54.6 miles to the gallon. So that's definitely a, pl a plus when you're paying five bucks a gallon. Um, so now I just need Dad to drop me off at the dock. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and with low tide, the ramp will be pretty steep, too. All right. So don't don't drop that. All right. Yeah, I think I'm all set here. Okay. All right. Well, have a good voyage or cruise. All right. We'll see you in September. Right. Bye. All right. <laughs> Try to keep in touch. I will. Well, we are getting a light breeze right as forecast. Got the code zero rigged, ready to go. It's gonna be a little tricky raising the main because we're tide riding here. And part of the reason I wanna get going here is because the uh, this mooring banging against my freshly painted top sides is just about driving me nuts here. It's off to the side like it's supposed to be. Alright, here's our turning point. We can bear away at this bell. And I reckon we can give this uh, code zero a try here. As they say, here goes nothing.
Hmm. Code zero does not seem to be setting or unfurling. Uh, go forward to investigate. What I'm going to find out is that I have the windward sheet, the lazy sheet, run incorrectly. So it's going out around the outside of the sail and essentially acting as a braille. That's B-R-A-I-L, vocab word of the week. And uh, so, now the wind is so light that I can just hold the clue after I've run the sheet correctly and just tie the bowline in. So get that squared away. Now I just need a little more wind. Okay, now we're going to jive and head down that way. So I'm saying to jive, it'd probably be best to roll up and then unroll again. So we'll see how that goes. So another learning curve here. The control line on the code zero, the furler line, is just a continuous loop uh, that goes through a jammer at, at, the, at, the, at the tack. And so what I just learned is that when you furl the sail up, if you don't immediately take tension on the control lines, it'll just slip out of the jammer and the code zero will unfurl on you. On the other hand, that makes setting it very easy because you just release the tension on the control lines and the code zero unrolls itself. That's a little more like it. She's moving nice, too. Uh, it's definitely giving her some power. She's nicely balanced. It takes a little while getting used to this continuous furling cable. Because if you furl it up, but then you release tension, any tension on that cable, it'll, it'll just unfurl on you. So, uh, uh, it's just, just got to get used to it. Woo! Look at her go! Yeah, about eight, eight, nine knots of wind. She's she's trucking here. <laughs> <laughs> 